Hello everyone and welcome back to the forge. Now today we're going to be taking this farrier's rasp right here and we're going to be forging it into a kukri. Now I've already annealed this in the forge to get it good and soft and I'm fixing to go to the grinder and knock all these teeth off and then we'll move on to starting to forge this bad boy out. So let's get to work. Now I'm going to show you what I did here on the grinder. I just knocked the high points off of these teeth right here. I didn't grind them completely flat. Just knock the high points off. That way they won't fold over and smash down. We'll get a better look when it's all said and done. I also came down here on the side that I want to be the blade portion of my kukri and ground off all of the little lines, the file lines on the side here. I also grind, ground an angle up on the edge as well. Now the reason I did that is because as I forge this out, I don't want that edge to get smashed down, these lines to remain and get worked up into the billet as I'm working the steel and end up when I quench it causing a crack, a cold shut, something that can cause a lot of trouble down the road. So right now we're ready to toss this in the forge and get it up to temperature and get to moving some metal. So let's get to work.
right, we've got all of our rough forging here done. I'm gonna take it in there to the grinder, clean it up, get the profile kind of roughed in, and see what she looks like. Alrighty, we got our profile ground in. Still kind of rough, but we'll refine that as we go along. Uh, this is going to be a good stopping point for today. Everything seemed to go pretty well. Forging re went really well. Uh, you can see here on the camera why, I'm, why I made mention earlier at the beginning of the video about grinding the teeth off on the edge. If you look close, if it'll come into focus here. Do you see these little lines right here? That's what we ground into the teeth that was on the face of the blade. And you can just imagine if I hadn't ground the ones off on the edge or ground the lines off on the edge coupled with these, it would have smushed down and we could have been dealing with a whole lot of different problems here on the edge. But it looks pretty good. When I do the bevels, rough the bevels in, it'll get rid of a lot of that. Uh, I'm happy with the design so far. We'll refine it some more as we go along. But like I said, so far so good. I appreciate you for joining us today. Uh, if you would, hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell to be notified of our newest content as it posts. I appreciate you for watching. Uh, you have a good one. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to The Forge. Now, today we're going to jump back on our Kukri project here. We're going to start out by finding out where we want to put our pin locations in the handle, our lanyard spot. Then we're going to move on to roughing in our bevels, and then we should be ready for heat treat. So let's go ahead and get this handle figured out and get to work. All right, we got our bevels roughed in here. We got our perimeter all cleaned up, our holes drilled for the handle and for the lanyard. So we're ready to start thermal cycling this sucker and get it heat treated. So let's get to work.
quench went well. Everything seems to be pretty good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get this in the oven and get it tempered, and then we'll get back on it and get it finished up. Alrighty, everything came through the temper fine. No cracks, no breaks. We're going to go ahead and get over to the grinders now and start getting this all cleaned up, get our bevels finalized, and then move on to getting on our handle material. Alrighty, let's get to work.
All right, there's our rasp kukri. Pretty happy with the way that it turned out. I appreciate y'all for joining me along the forging process of this knife. If you would, uh, hit that subscribe button down below. Ring the notification bell to notify the newest content as it, as it comes out. I appreciate you very much for watching. You have a good one. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.